I've been trying to do better and not eat as bad, but it's cold and it's rainy. And you know what? NC State won this weekend. Go Wolfpack. We beat Virginia Tech barely. You know, a little, a little eight dollars at Chick Fil A sounds like a good way to to start the day off. You know what I mean? You know, kind of, kind of warm the spirit up a little bit, right? A little chicken bowl, a little coffee action. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, right? Nah, oh, damn that phone already. It ain't even eight o'clock. Chick Fil A coffee hitting this morning. Look, we finished up this Ram last week on Friday we were closed this Saturday and it, and it turned out pretty damn good we did like a like a seven inch bell tech and some 2614 kg1s with the gladiators the chrome on chrome with the black or black on chrome with the chrome accents however you want to look at it the truck actually turned out really good like I said it's all nasty and rainy today but I got a uh, couple coming from Texas today which is really exciting we don't get a lot of trucks that come from Texas or you know just come from that part of town anymore I mean obviously we've done Miami and you know Chicago and some other places but coming from Texas is a, is a pretty big deal it's like a 12-hour drive I think or something like that so we should see them soon took me a little while to realize what truck that was with the KG ones on it kickback legends shout out shout out kickback legends with the 26 14s that truck turned out pretty good actually I'm gonna get busy and not film the truck before it goes in. I get I get busy in the mornings and I. Are you excited? I'm like like I don't know what the deal is, but my hands are like I'm not not necessarily not necessarily saying it's the truck, but my hands are like shaking this morning. I got so much going on this morning. I haven't really. Yeah. I was I haven't been this excited for one in a while just because I feel like the build up has been so so long for this one so many months it's probably been six months or more um yeah i've done a lot of trucks from uh, from out of town but the ones that come from really far i get kind of excited about now um i mean we do florida and south carolina alabama mississippi that kind of stuff all the time but texas is is a little bit outside of our normal weekly you know and i just uh, sold a job to to my guy his last name's player which is really cool from uh, louisiana so shout out to mr uh, mr player from louisiana but we got this uh a couple of people I've told about this that are waiting on this one. 2022 F-150 getting an eight inch, first eight inch FTS that we've ever done on one of these uh, new body style F-150. So I'm, I'm really excited. I know that you can't do a 10 inch on these. FTS doesn't make a 10 inch and we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later in the video, but I want to make sure to show it before it walks in and uh, just kind of take in the moment all the way from what, what is it? Houston? Check. Houston area, a 12 hour drive. That's a, that's a ride for a lift kit. Hey, I'm, I'm honored. It's raining. I had some Chick-fil-A this morning, trying to get the vibes up there this morning. We, we're going to have a good time. I'm excited. Safe in the truck. We got power running boards, power, um, bed cover, boiler exhaust. Oh, so there's a lot more done to it than just oh, a yeah. stock truck then. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. It. So intake rock lights, okay. safe in the center console. Safe That's cool. Safe in the center console. I'll put the power running boards. I got uh, the power bed cover. Remote. Oh, yeah. Getting then, some 14 wides and 37s and an 8 inch. That's going to be cool. With the boiler attack. I feel like I'm exhibit out here. Pimp my ride. <laughs> when you unlock it? You see that? Really? No, I didn't see that. When you, when you unlock the doors, the steps come down. Huh? Now, some is so when you unlock the doors, the steps come down. No, you, you don't even have to do that. If you got the key. Yeah. No, you just look. Lock it. Step back. Is that Step factory back or is that? Oh, is that factory or does that come? No. Is that like aftermarket? Aftermarket. Well, you got to do it through Ford. So now. So when you walk up to it, it. Yeah. I just walk up to it. Don't press on. Oh, that's cool. And then it locks itself. So just having the keys in your hand, and I, I without could. unlocking the truck or opening the door, the steps will come out custom feature from Ford. Four legs off. Is it a V8 or V6? Like, what are they, like the twin turbos? Hell yeah. Really? Yeah, just by pushing the button. That's cool. Technology these days Technology. get us in trouble. I love the lights on these new Fords. Do what? You didn't have this before I lifted up? No. no. I got it. Some 2614s, some RBPs. R RBP Uzi, I'm pretty sure. That'd be cool. 
It is. In all its glory. There's gotta be a way to do it. Oh, put him, yeah, that, yeah. I figured it out. Hold on, let me figure it out. You're pushing it too far over. It's not having enough weight, it's spinning. It's spinning. It's just spinning. <laughs> There's got to be a way to push it forward. Drift King. Yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out. That's pretty cool. Well, the truck's ready for pickup. It's five o'clock, 5.16, sorry, on Halloween. We're leaving a little bit early. The F-150 is done. It's on the ground, or it's on the alignment rack, technically, but if you guys are watching this, it's done. The truck's done. But I know that you guys are already staying the night, so I'll see you in the morning, I guess. Bright and early, with some Chick-fil-A, hopefully. 
but the truck's done and this is super cool because you know you guys probably watch the videos and oh there's no way they get these trucks done same day i mean it is they were here drop it off this morning at 10 o'clock and it's 5 15 5 16 on a monday and the truck's done especially if they were picking up at six like on a normal day it would 100 percent be done today coming from texas drove 12 hours this weekend to come get here done in a day could be out of here that's real shit right there i'll see y'all in the morning Talking on me, so my car's a tenny. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bobbing in a dash, and the stick is with it. And I hit the four or five on the wet side. But I'm from the east side, this how we slide. This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride. Going pro, no lead, no lead. Make it easy, like one, two, three. Go, go. Hello. Hello. I only got 9%. I have, my batteries are never charged anymore. It pisses me off. You, uh... I only got 9% on my battery right now, so make it quick. What? Is it me or you? Nah, Am I I'm hold just, the camera? Nah, I'm just messing with you. Sure. Cool. All the Ford guys out there. Oh, yeah, for all my Ford people out there. Look, so, real quick here. Let's scooch over here real quick. I never really talked about it. So... And this is this is great timing actually so we did a seven inch bell tech a couple of weeks ago on a f-150 just like this seven inch bell tech 20 uh, 24 14s and 37s and we had to cut the hell out of it so this is a great comparison for the bell tech that we did earlier to this f-150 that's in the thumbnail today but before that is a seven inch two seven inch bell tech on this uh, 2022 ram it's actually uh, eight. my bad dude it's eight yeah oh that's cool eight inch 37s 26s got the kg1 eddies and the gladiators absolutely love this the chrome grill with the chrome wheels it's just it's freaking beautiful one of the cool things about Belltech is they're uh, they're one of the only lift kits that comes this like charcoal gray so a little, little, little switch up on the color a little, little charcoal gray or graphite or whatever color you want to call it but love the way that this ram turned out is this one of the rams with the uh yeah they got plastic control arms on it so we ended up uh that's so cool busting that there's definitely metal oh they are okay uh, i didn't know they're, they're they're coated with uh they have like a composite composite underside from the, under the bottom right here but this is actually metal tap it with something tap it with some keys metal. yeah you're right yeah it, it feels like plastic yeah hey, you, learn, you learn you learn something every day but star of the show today 2022 f-150 uh, i want to give a shout out my guy my guy's from texas make sure you guys go show some love to him on instagram he's been he's been posting a whole bunch of stuff um he let me let me i don't want to put too much of his information out there but he's got a cool story behind him so make sure you guys go follow him show some love he's been posting a lot of cool content since he's been in atlanta this weekend and you guys just need to go check my guy out he's got some some unique content that he's posting right now and it's it's super cool so y'all go show some love to him but 2022 f-150 lariat it's got the 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 twin turbo you know smaller engine so it's got a boy borla exhaust intake sounds really nice got enough power to to handle those 26s and 37s but look at look at that monster over there i was thinking in my mind dang i wish we would have did 16 wide but to be honest it looks it looks way better than i ever could have imagined it's, it's clean and simple so we got an eight inch black fts you can eat off of it well one of the what what is meals with with Kuj say? What is it? That uh, uh, take care, brush it. You know you can eat off this thing. What do you want to do? You know I like the Italian guys on TikTok. But I've been looking forward to doing this 8-inch FTS for months, and I do think that the FTS sits taller than the Beltec on the Ram that we did. Mainly the main well can't really base that off of that because I'm pretty sure that we did. Uh, I think we did Nittos on that one. Nittos are going to be true to size. We did have to do a lot of cutting on this truck. I'm not going to lie. But Jordan is Edward Scissorhands, and it looks freaking phenomenal. Phenomenal. Freaking phenomenal. 2614 RBP Uzis, 371450 26 Furies. We got a big boy tire on there with some 26s, but that 8 inch is plenty tall enough to handle it. Plenty tall enough. Plenty of power. Looks great. Sounds great. Smells great. Feels great. Rides great. What do you want to do? I love it. I just maybe I, may, maybe uh, maybe we need to retire uh, Shade. And we need to bring like like Tony out or something. I need an Italian. What do you want to do? I need an Italian character. You end up selling Amani Ford. Amani Ford. Yeah, Amani's not Italian, is it? Forgiato sounds Italian. Forgiato. Forgiato. That's how they say. That's it. Japanese. 
That was the Japanese. It was not. Mr. Origato. Call Forgiato and listen to their calls. 100%. That was that was a Japanese accent. Forgiato. Look, the FTS is beautiful. Make sure you guys go show some love to my guy all the way from Texas. They drove all the way out here from Houston this weekend. In and out in a day. They could have picked it up yesterday. We got it out of here. I love you guys. Appreciate you guys riding all this way out here. Uh, my guy, Mr. Player from Louisiana, you're next. I want to see you right here in about a week, week and a half. I need you here. Mr. Player, going to do it big. The awkward moments are the best part about this when I stop talking ah. to this. Oh yeah, we haven't. <laughs> ah, it's been a while. Oh, I cut your face out, I'm sorry. I gotta go back inside. Later, bro. Thank All you. love. I appreciate you. Thank I you. appreciate Watch you guys. Up. Jake, let's go, baby. We did an eight inch on an F one fifty this morning, and then a uh, what eight inch? Honestly, the eight inch on that truck sits about as tall as this one. If you could see the truck itself, it really does sit about as tall as this one. These F two fifties are an eight inch on an F two fifty. You could put uh, thirty eight or forty like wide, like fourteen wides it and thirty eights or forties. Sounds so extra. But 38s and or 37s and 14 wides, like you got to cut a lot on F-150. So they just they have a, a big size difference to them. But we finished up this F-250 today. It's uh, for my Ford people. I'm just showing love to the Ford people today. Um, four inch BDS with the uh, my favorite part of it is the the four play wheels. Not a lot of people do the four play wheels, but it's kind of like a almost like a secret sauce to the wheel business because the four play wheels are super nice. So you got 2212, the four play. I think what was it the is it like 4P80, I think? Or 4F80, 4P80 maybe? Something like that. But it's got that like dark graphite with the black, uh, gloss black in it with the trail grapplers. Favorite tire of all time. I just want to make sure to throw it in a video. Document it in history. Show some love to my Ford people. Shout out to, uh, to my guy Vince for coming through and showing some love. Will not be the last time that we see him. And uh, we appreciate you. Absolutely, man. I appreciate it. Anything you need, you let me know. It's Ford day up here at the shop, baby. Ready to